Hello America, this is Keith, your friendly neighborhood technician, coming at you with some quick tips on why my dryer is not heating correctly. Okay? Several things can possibly do this that you can check at home. I don't expect you to go out and buy a bunch of tools, I don't expect you to start poking around at things, but there's some things you can check. Okay, first of all, does the dryer have any heat at all? If you stick your if you turn it on, you stick your hand, there's no heat at all, you want to go check your breaker. Okay, what I mean by your breaker is your dryer takes 220 to operate. What I mean by 220 is, this is a 110 plug, okay? This basically is like your lights, like all the stuff, works on 110 power. Now your dryer, in a previous video, has a very large plug that has a bunch of wires on it. Well, you need 220 to heat. So what you need to do is, before you call someone out, go to your breaker box, turn the breaker off, count 10, turn the breaker on. It's generally gonna be a 30 amp breaker and if your home is relatively new, the breaker box will be labeled, okay? That's one thing, if it doesn't heat at all. Now two, it heats kinda, okay? Which means you open it up, you can feel a little bit of heat. My laundry takes a whole bunch of time to dry up because it's not drying like it used to. There's a couple things we can look at. One, we wanna look at your lens screen. Yes, your lens screen, okay? You want to be able to see through your lens screen. See, I can see you, can you see me? Doubtful, but we'll see. You want to be able to see through it. If you can't see through it, that means air can't pass through it, okay? Which means it needs to be cleaned. Now, some are easier to clean than others, some are harder to clean than others, okay? This model, actually, if I can do it, will actually open up so I can actually get the, the lint out. Other ones have just, this is just one-sided, and you basically want to make sure it's clean. If you can't scrape anything off and you've got a, it's a bunch of junk on there, that's restricting your airflow. If you don't have airflow, your heater's not going to heat correctly, okay? You may want to think about possibly getting another one of these or taking a little brush out and cleaning it by hand, okay? Second thing you can check for is this time of year, birds, animals start building nests, okay? And they start building nests in your vent system, okay? And well, yes, they do do that. I had a lady who swore up and down that the dryer was the issue. Well, I pulled out a bird's nest that long. That is why her dryer wasn't heating. A way to find that out is, if you can get to the back of your dryer, everybody knows the big silver snake coming off the back of your dryer here, okay? Take that off, and then hit start on your dryer. Let it run for a few minutes, and you can feel the heat coming off, okay? If the heat is starts to get built up and starts to the normal, you've got a problem either in your vent or on the outside of the house. Things get piled up against it. My vent in my house is that far off the ground against the side of my house. My dog used to love to lay on it because it was warm in the wintertime. She smushed it. Well, didn't realize it till later. I'm going, oh, why, why have no airflow? So I went out there, looked at it, it was there. Check that out. Okay, two, that big old long silver snake, does it have, a, is it folded on itself? Is it squished? Is it, you know, this? If you restrict the airflow, it's not gonna go anywhere. You wanna check all those out, make sure all those good. If the, if still not working right, then you're gonna wanna call somebody. Now, the water on your, on, your, on your clothes washer, okay? This is for people who have hard water, okay? If you look here, your hot and your cold water, they have filth, they have little screens in them, okay? And if you have hard water, Hard water is gonna build up on those and eventually cut off the water supply to your washer. So if you watch it fill and it's not filling quite the way it should, that's something you wanna check. Okay, turn the water off to it, disconnect these and take a look in there. And once again, if it doesn't look nice and clean and silver, you can clean those out. Those are a little hard to clean out. You may wanna actually call someone to do that or you can take a little small little toothbrush or a little pick brush like that you do for your teeth and you can clean those out. Okay, that's if you have hard water. If you don't have hard water, pretty much don't have to worry about it. Now, if you have well water, that is also something you want to check into because the well water does have a lot more deposits in it than your normal city water. But this will get clogged up. These will get clogged up. This is one of the reasons why you may not have enough water coming in or it takes too long to fill. Well, it used to take a minute and a half to fill and now it takes five minutes. That could be why is these are clogged up, okay? That's a few simple things to check for if your dryer's not heating properly or your washer's not filling. So don't forget to tune in to next week for more very good information and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and you folks have a wonderful week.